Hello beautiful moms and lovely parents out there. Assalamu alaikum. So today while doing a regular task, let's talk about five steps to more effective parenting. Guys, raising kids is one of the toughest and most fulfilling jobs in the world. And the one for which you might feel the least prepared, isn't it? So today let's discuss these five child rearing tips that can help you feel more fulfilled as a parent. The first one is boost your child's self-esteem, the most talked about. But how to do that? Let's discuss it. Kids start developing their sense of self as babies when they see themselves through their parents' eyes. Your tone of voice, your body language and your every expressions are absorbed by your kids. Your words and actions as a parent affect their developing self-esteem more than anything else. So what can help them out? Praising accomplishments, however small, will make them feel proud. Letting kids do things independently will make them feel capable and strong. Kindly avoid making loaded statements or using words as weapons. Comments like what a stupid thing to do or you act more like a baby than your little brother cause damage just as a physical blows do. So choose your words very carefully. Let your kids know that everyone makes mistakes and that you still love them even when you don't love their behavior. Secondly, catch kids being good. So guys, have you ever stopped to think about how many times you react negatively to your kids in a given day? You may find yourself criticizing far more often than complimenting. How would you feel about a boss who treated you with that much negative guidance even if it was well intentioned? The more effective approach is to catch kids doing something right. You made your bed without being asked, that's terrific. Or I was watching you play with your sister and you were very patient. These statements will do more encourage good behavior over the long run than repeated scoldings. Try that out. You won't believe how positive and encouraged your kid would feel. Thirdly, set limits and be consistent with your discipline. Establishing house rules helps kid understand your expectation and develop self-control. Some rules might include no TV until homework is done. No hitting, name calling or hurtful teasing allowed. You might want to have a system in place, one warning followed by consequences such as time out or loss of privileges. A common mistake parents make is failure to follow through with the consequences. You can't discipline kids for talking back one day and ignore it the next. Being consistent teaches what you expect. The most important one is make time for your kids. Kids who aren't getting the attention they want from their parents often act stubborn or misbehave because they sure to be noticed that way. Many parents find it rewarding to schedule time together with their kids. With your teenager kids, create a special night each week to be together. Look for other ways to connect. Put a note or something special in your kid's lunchbox. Do things together that they love to do, like painting, drawing or playing games. Lastly, be a good role model. Young kids learn a lot about how to act by watching their parents. The younger they are, the more cues they take from you. Before you lash out or blow your top in front of your child, think about Is that how you want them to behave when they are angry? Of course not. So be gentle on your kids and on yourself as well. That was the video. I love you till the next time. Mm -hmm.